Before I met Jesus, my goal was to get glory for myself, please others, and fit in. No matter what, I just I just wanted people to like me. I I had my own pride and my own focus of just uh, doing what I wanted to do. When I was younger, I got baptized, but I really didn't believe in it. Um, all, all I really wanted to do was get glory for myself. I just wanted people just to uh, clap for me right when I was up on stage, and that's all there was to it for me. I met Jesus somewhere in my teen years. I had a lot of questions, and I couldn't find any answers, and there was all these other belief systems and all these other people saying that Christianity wasn't really true, that Jesus didn't really do what he really did, and I couldn't find any answer to him. As I kept on searching more and more, there were some answers to some of the questions, but I just wasn't satisfied. But after, see, after being influenced by so many great people at the church and just by reading so many different articles on what truth what really was and more and more about the gospel, it came down to it where all I really had to do was just simply let go. I had to, I had to simply realize that I can't have all the answers. Realizing that I had to have faith and knowing that I can't, I can't know everything but that God does and He has control. And so I was, I was able to finally just be able to do that sometime throughout my teen years. I don't really remember when I was saved. I don't have an exact date, but I know what I believe in. I believe in the gospel and I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead. And that really is, that's all there is to it. And realizing how simple that is just to simply let go and trust in Him. Since then, I've been, I've been able to have true passion for other people, being able to try to help other people, not because I really want to please them or myself, but because I really want to please God no matter what. So as my goal, no matter what, since then has been, has been to follow God. And through that, I've been able to have so many opportunities, whether it be standing up on stage and stumbling through sentences or sharing the gospel at camps or going uh, overseas to share the gospel with more and more people in different countries. Um, God's just giving me more and more opportunities just to really serve Him, and all I really have to do is simply step forward and follow Him. My uncle is baptizing me. His name is David Bonney, and he's just, he's been such a great influence on my life. He's kicked me in the butt a few times, and he's also just been able to encourage me as I walk. And he's just been such a great example through his testimony and through his life, really as to how to actually follow Jesus and really be passionate in following him. I just really just like to thank my whole church family. Um, everyone has just been, been there for me, whether it be Chuck. Hey, Chuck just uh, kicking me around on stage and just bullying me here and there. Um, he's just really been such a great encouragement to me. Or whether it be Jim just giving me a pat on the back every Sunday, or whether it be Justin up on stage, or whether it be so many other different people, um, my family, my parents, my older brother. There's been so many other people throughout this whole church family that have been able to just help me out, help me grow, and be able to actually care about me. And I just thank you all for your faithfulness and just being there for me. My name is Caleb Bonney, and no matter what, I want to follow Jesus.